Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn. It's not learning basically. It is just one experience that I want to share with you. There are many times, you know, the people are calling back to me and they are saying that, uh, Hi Ankush, uh, recently I have got the join as a Oracle DBA. And tomorrow is my first working day as a Oracle DBA. So I'm not sure like what type of responsibility will be there as a Oracle DBA and how I am going to uh, take care of this activity. So many times the people will get so much frustrated or you can say that they will be intense like, oh, I never work as a Oracle DBA. Somehow I did the practice. I have cracked the interview. I got the offer. I got selected also. Then how things will be there for me as a Oracle DBA. Whether it can be your fresher or it can be your experienced DBA. So let me tell you one thing over here. So when I joined as a fresher Oracle DBA, uh, that time my manager was pretty much aware that, okay, he is having some experience. He has some knowledge about Oracle DBA, but he don't have any real time experience. So that time the things were pretty much good for me. So the kind of responsibility I was getting, it's like, okay, someone from the uh, senior team, he need to give me some kind of kitty and then I need to learn myself. Okay. That was the expectation from my manager on that time. But now let's say you have some two, three years of experience. Previously, you were working with some other technology and now you got the technology of Oracle DBA. You prepared yourself. You did a lot of practice. Maybe you have learned someone, you have some tutor or something happened with you. So you did a lot of efforts in your past six months or one year and finally you got a job and tomorrow is your first day. Let me tell you one thing guys, when you work as a Oracle DBA, okay, Oracle DBA is very, very responsible job. So on the first day, it will never happen that you will be working as a Oracle DBA. When you join any company, okay, any company I'm saying, especially with the service based company there, if you're working with the banking project, at least one month, it will go to get the access which are related for the Oracle DBA. So they will raise a request on behalf of you. Then that request will get approved and then you will get all the required privileges uh, which are required to work on the Oracle database servers. So in that one month of time, if it is a banking, definitely it will take one month or more than one month or so because sometimes the banking like Citibank, the banks like uh, MasterCard, they these people are doing the uh, kind of background verification. And when this background verification happens, it will take long time to do and complete this background verification. In between that, you can sit behind your senior who is already the part of that project. And then you can learn the environmental uh, aspect like, okay, how he's doing that. So if I'm a senior DBA, okay, I know everything. Let's assume that I know everything. I'm a senior DBA and I join another company. So even though if I'm a senior DBA who is joining another company, it doesn't mean that on the first day or second day, I will work as a Oracle DBA. As I said earlier, there will be some kind of KT which will run at least for 15 days. There you need to understand the process. In the KT portion, they will not tell you like how to uh, resize the data file, how to add a data file. No, not like that. In that duration, they will talk about the environmental uh, because every process, every project will have a different, different process and come some, so, some sort of standardization also. So what are those standardization? What are the process? All those things you'll get it in that KT period. And it is your responsibility to learn that, you know, process oriented stuff as well as technical as much as you can. So when you work, when you are a fresher or when you are new to any project, try to spend as much as time with your senior or the person who is already a senior in that project. Maybe it's a junior also. So don't think that if he is having less experience or one single person is having less base experience, it means you cannot learn from him. Even though he is having less experience, he or she is having less experience, but he is uh, experienced person compared to you in that particular project. So there are many things you can learn from him also. And again, one more thing which I want to tell you guys, you know, the amount of knowledge that you can get it from the junior resource, I don't think so you can get it from the senior resources. 
okay because the kind of energy the the experience the experience like 2 3 years or the junior kind of people will have that kind of energy you will not find into the senior resources that is a reality because once your experience goes increases then some sort some kind of family many responsibilities are coming and in that duration it's quite difficult that you can increase your knowledge so the kick start is always when you are a somewhat in between single or you can say when you are 2 3 years of experience after that then the things will get definitely change don't assume that all the tension will be there on your head only no you'll get a lot of time to prepare yourself and that is a perfect time where you can you know do the lot of practice try to understand give some more time to the office hours on that time and once you work with the project for 6 months or not 6 months also 3 months 3 months is more than enough for you to understand the culture of your project process of your project and everything all the details then the things will be pretty much smoother and repetitive kind of work you will get it so the initial part of any project even though if i am a senior person when i'm joining a new company for me every time there will be a kt every time there will be a kt related to the process oriented and so that's what i need to get it but since we are experienced person we can easily get it because we have all the background uh, knowledge since we work with the multiple project but when you are fresher that time it will take some time but that is where you need to put the efforts guy so guys uh, the basic idea behind to create this video is whenever you get a chance okay in the future to work as a oracle dba don't take a tension you know the things will be pretty much uh, good only as much as you put the efforts as much as you do the practice that is where you know you can take uh, <laughs> the things whatever you want in your life and everything will be very smoother so if you have any queries anything let me know into the comment section and if you are looking for training definitely you can contact me thank you see you again with the next video